Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And if you guys watched my recap video last night of Horizons Quarter, I looked at it objectively and I said that I have a very strong, uh, very confident that AT&T and T-Mobile's numbers are going to be bigger than Verizon's. And I told you guys at the very end of that video that I've seen AT&T's preliminary numbers and they completely blew Verizon's quarter out of the water. I mean, this is going to make these numbers is going to make Verizon's quarter look very minimal, very minimal, very small. So I just read them off to you and I'll, I'll do this very quickly because I got to jump on this earnings call. So capital expenditure, just to compare uh, four four billion gross capital investment, five point three billion, and cash content spent of five point three billion. So, not anywhere close to Verizon's levels. Verizon is already spend has already blown through eight point seven billion, roughly on their cash on their capex. So, still behind there. Also, free cash flow, seven billion total dividend payout ratio of fifty five percent. Again, Verizon's cash flow is at eleven point seven billion. So Verizon's still making more money, regardless of the fact of of how big this quarter was for AT and T. I'm thinking more longer term is where it it'll affect Verizon if AT and T continues to put these numbers, put up these numbers. So again, mobility side, seven hundred eighty nine thousand postpaid phone net ads, insane, huge. They're, they've done this now on several quarters, Q1, Q4, Q3, Q2. They're putting up big numbers. 1.156 million postpaid net ads. Insane. I mean, these are far bigger numbers than what Verizon posted yesterday. Prepaid, 174,000 prepaid net ads. Insane. I, I don't want to say that's why... AT&T is not getting in the MVNO space, but as you can tell, they're mo they're really monetizing the prepaid side. I mean, they they they're growing. Verizon did like Verizon never competed really in the prepaid space. Verizon yesterday announced I think sixteen thousand prepaid ads. I mean, very small numbers compared to AT&T. Postpaid phone churn of zero point six nine percent, equaling lowest churn ever. Customers are staying with AT&T as well. Revenue up, service revenue up, equipment revenue up. That's big for AT&T as well. Operations income, $6 billion, up 3.4% year over year. EBITDA up 2.7%. Operation income margin at 30 of 31.7. EBITDA service margins, 55%. Again, numbers are up across the board. They added almost uh, 250,000 fiber net ads. Again, Big, 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 big numbers. One thing I want to uh, quick out, uh, quickly um, point out before I get out this video: um, HBO Max added two point eight million. I think that's a big number. It may have not been the best decision to get rid of that that part. Um, it's it's growing. It's it's growing very quickly. I think this could have been a, another source of revenue for AT and T. Maybe the focus now on wireless and wireline is going to help them boost those numbers. Again, as you saw, th those are insane numbers. So, again, AT&T posting pretty big numbers. T-Mobile's will also be better than Verizon's, but I don't think they'll be as good as AT&T's. We'll see on the 29th, but I think AT&T may have ended this quarter as the biggest growth story in the wireless industry. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Look forward to reading your comments. If you have been on the channel or you're new to the channel and you have not yet liked, shared, subscribed, make sure you do so. Hit the notification bell so you are notified when I do upload content. Make sure to follow my social media outlets for more updates and interactions. Thanks again for watching. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.